Hi everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's Tip. My name is Julie Johnson, and these tips are brought to you by Vine Images. Welcome to week number 61. This week, I'm gonna be sharing with you two tips just for the fact that we were unable to tape last week just because our office was extremely busy. So um, this week I'm gonna share with you, um, the first one is this. This is a puppet I found at Costco and it came with a, a set of four and I think this was sea creatures, there was farm animals, all different ones, but um, this set I purchased and I'm in love with this one. It has been unbelievable because the tentacles have a grip on them that I'm able to fully function my camera while leaving the puppet on my hand when photographing children. So it's quite uh, it's quite funny actually and uh, you can imagine you know I'm gonna get you. Kids love it and it looks like it's eating my camera or stuck to it. So uh, anyways, I just encourage you to keep your eyes open for these puppets. Um, you'll see them every now and then at Costco, and, uh, but I love this little guy. Today we're also going to discuss shooting your subject on a white background and how to get your white background white as white. So um, today we had a company from Ireland contract us to photograph a company here in Burlington and uh, they wanted the images shot on a white background so they could easily cut the subject out. So it's very hard to get your background totally white without lighting it fully and then having your subject um, step away and have the background one or two stops hotter than your subject. So anyways, um, if you don't have time for metering and all that kind of stuff, what you can do is shine a light um, on your white backdrop as you're shooting. So either you can do um, like a strobe directly pointing at the white backdrop so it just lights it all up as you're taking your picture. So as you can see by the image here, this is what we did. And, uh, and now I'm going to show you in Photoshop, if you haven't got it perfectly stark white, how to um, quickly do that. Okay, so as you can see by this shot, we have a, um, a light shining directly on the background that's set to a couple stops hotter than our current subject. So here's the final image that we have. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to um, take our Select Magic Wand tool and um, we're going to set the tolerance to 30 up here. Okay, so we're going to select this side, press shift, and we're going to select the other side. So as you can see in the far top left corner, it's not completely white, white. And when you look at the info there to the um, top right, um, you can see that there's still color in there. In the R, G, and B, there's 234, like it keeps moving. But And in the C, M, Y, K, there's 5%, 4%, 2%. That means that there's still color there. So what we want to do is for CYMK users, we want to make that 0% to be white. And in the RGB, um, white is 255. So we're going to open up our levels, which is Apple L. And what we're going to do is we're going to just slide the levels over um, to be completely white. So we're just going to move it over here and uh, just to the very uh, bottom of that uh, that graph there. Okay, we're gonna hit okay. So now we'll re before we do that, we'll test it. So we're gonna go over with our um, little dabber there and we can see that there's zero color anywhere now and it is completely white in the background. So now we're gonna hit okay and uh, we're going to select and uh, deselect. On behalf of Vine Images, I just want to thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's Tip. Please join our fan page if you haven't already, just to stay up to date with Tuesday's Tips and what's going on with Vine Images. And uh, that's at www.facebook.com forward slash Vine Images Inc. Okay, we hope to see you over there. Have a great day.